Hey guys, it's Barry from Barry's Aquarium, and for today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up an ecosphere. Alright, so if you don't know what an ecosphere is, it's basically an aquarium, just like this, that's in a sealed container. Typically, they're smaller than the average fish tank. They're usually made out of um, jars, like mason jars, old peanut butter jars, which is what this guy is right here. I just painted the lid black. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be converting this old peanut butter jar into a cool little ecosphere. And I also have all of these plants right here from when we took down my 20 gallon planted aquarium and made it into a saltwater fish tank still need to do some stuff with these plants so i'll use some of them in this little ecosphere and i have some gravel from that tank so let's get started first thing that we're going to do when setting up this ecosphere is i'm just going to add this gravel right here and it's a little too much so i'm going to take some of this out All right, this looks a little bit better. Not too much in there. Slope it towards the back a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna use any rocks in here. I'm not gonna put anything like that. Just gonna have gravel and plants. Just wanna get rid of some of these plants right here, which I haven't used in a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with some water and then we can start planting the plants. That's as much as I'm gonna fill it up. I just got some tweezers right here so we can start planting the plants in it and I don't have to reach my whole hand in. And I can use it to kind of flatten out the gravel a little bit. I'm also going to get some paper towels just in case I spill anything. Well, I couldn't find any paper towels because everyone's buying them out at Walmart. So we're gonna have to do with some Kleenexes. Now we can get started. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna plant some Rotala in here. Um, in this little bucket right here, uh, it's just a combination of a whole bunch of plants. Got some Elodia, Hornwort, some Moss Balls, some Rotala, Bacopa, some stem plants, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna probably go with the Rotala because it's smaller. All right, we got our little piece of Rotala right here and I'm just gonna plant it in the back. Another stem of Rotala right here. I'm gonna plant it right next to it just like that and I think I'm gonna go ahead and plant probably a lot just there in the back and then see what else see if there's any more room for anything else really like this Rotala didn't grow too well in the other tank it was in so hopefully this will it'll do a little better in here okay so I just moved the camera a little bit closer and added some light from my desk lamp hopefully you can see it in there turn it around we have three in there so far all right, so I just planted some Bacopa and some more Rotala stems, and I'm gonna add this little piece of Java Fern right here. And you don't plant Java Fern in the substrate, you just kind of lay it wherever, because if you plant it in the substrate, then the roots will start to rot, or the stem that it's on will start to rot. So I'm just gonna place it right there. Hopefully it'll be good. It might just end up floating around, but right there seems pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more stems and that should be good. All right, so I just planted the rest of the stems. There's not too many in there. Now for the livestock, what I'm gonna be putting in here is I'll put in a few bladder snails from this tank because as you can see in this very clean tank of mine, I have a whole bunch of snails. They're just literally everywhere. So I'll take some out of here and go ahead and put them right in there. Floating on top right here. And we got one. Bring it home for eternity. A couple. It's a nice duckweed. Now these snails will reproduce like crazy. So I only have to put a few in here. All right, we have three bladder snails in here. Hopefully they will, uh, you know what? I'll put four in actually, right on the glass. Nice little bladder snail going in the tank or going in the ecosphere. The ecosphere is complete. All we need to do is put on the lid. This is gonna be the last time it's gonna be exposed to open air for a really long time. 
I'm gonna put it right up here next to these plants in my windowsill. This might get a little too much light, but I can always move it if it starts to grow a whole bunch of algae. So there it is, the complete ecosphere made out of nothing but a peanut butter jar. So the reason why I think these ecosphere things are really cool is because they don't take up a lot of space. You don't have to have a filter. They're super inexpensive. Just get a jar basically and put some water and rocks in it and that's the ecosphere. And if you don't want to go buy plants, go to a local pond or river and I'm sure you can find some plants. I've seen other YouTubers do that, which is super cool. But yeah, the ecosphere is now finished. Now that the ecosphere is complete and it's looking super good, I'm gonna go ahead and add this bucket of plants right here that I've been meaning to plant in the tank behind me for like two weeks now. Um, a lot of them have died. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you leave them in a bucket for two weeks, but it's about time I go ahead and plant them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Well, I just got all of the plants planted in the tank. There wasn't too many that were still alive. So yeah, um, this guy right here, right? there uh, i'm not sure what it is but it's not doing too well uh the only one that i planted in the substrate then i had some java moss which i just stuck by this piece of wood right here that plant right there and i put it in a few other places in the tank like over here um this green hornwort right here uh, it's probably gonna turn all brown and gross like this stuff pretty soon sadly uh, had a few pieces of java fern which is stuck to the filter back there and um, Marimo moss balls that I had that didn't really fit anywhere on the bottom because there's too many plants So I just put them on top of the sponge filter uh, So they should be fine there. I'm guessing but this tank just hasn't looked very good since I added all these fish from the 20 gallon tank when I took it down uh, I don't, I'm not sure why. I've tested the water and it seems fine. It might just be extra light. I might need to turn the light down. The reason it's on so much is because I have autosynchless catfish in here. Let me see if I can find one. All right, well, I could not find any autosynchless catfish in here. I know they're in here because I just saw them, but they're little catfish and they really like eating algae. And since they're wild caught, they don't usually adjust too well to eating algae tablets. So. I like to have a little bit of algae in here for them to eat. I have five of them in here, so oh, there's one right there underneath this leaf. They like eating algae. They clean off the plants a little bit, so that's why the light's on, and I like a little bit of algae, but it's kind of getting a little out of control, so might need to dial back the light. So anyways, I don't know why I'm talking about this tank. This was about the ecosphere. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I got a little bit off topic talking about this tank behind me, but I mean, it doesn't hurt. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're already up to 62 subscribers. I know, huge number. Like I said, if you liked it, subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video.